So, uh, okay, James. So, what's your final major project on this year? Shh. My final major project this year is a thriller, and uh -huh. um, well, thriller can also be like dramatic as well. Oh, well, absolutely, yeah. That's yeah. Kind of different. Thriller. But yeah. I wanted to do thrillers because you know, I wanted to test out like the cool kind of facts with like blood and like mm -hmm. um, cuts and things like that. Oh, like say blood splatter yeah, or whatever. Like, yeah, okay, no problem. Like that. I really wanted to try. Yeah, easy enough to do. Yeah. Just like a wee plug in, you drop in there exactly. and you have the sort of thing. I just yeah. want to expand my knowledge on that and stuff. And how long is your thriller going to be, do you think? Hmm. Uh, my script, I, I'll give you an estimate, maybe 20 minutes. Oh, so it's quite ambitious then? Yeah. There's a lot of work on 20 minutes work, okay. Yeah. Well, that's I fine. have plenty of time. Oh, so. well, that's what you do, you have plenty of time. And uh, Dylan, as you likely were last year, he did like a 40 minute kind of like film. Hopefully there, it's so not like, 40 minutes. No, that's what I'm saying. Just what I, want to, I don't want to put you under so much pressure, because 20 minutes is a lot of work. A lot yeah, of work. Okay. it depends. I don't know, because uh, it, could, it could only maybe be 15, 10. I, okay. I'm well, aiming for around 15. Okay, well, just basically in your script, You've probably got your whole script written. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, look, just go through it and just uh, sometimes, you know, we're, I'm not saying this about you, sometimes this happens where people get um, so locked into an idea, they don't want to maybe be, take a knife to it and cut away all yeah. the fat sort of thing. Okay, so if, if there's anything in that there which isn't driving the narrative or character development or the spectators yeah. informing of how to interpret things, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah, okay, definitely. just because it'll make it easier for you to shoot and actually be better in the edit as well, right? Yeah. You haven't gone shot a whole pile of stuff and go. I've shot maybe for two days, yeah, I don't need any of these things because it yeah. doesn't cut it now. It's better not to have, better to make a decision at this stage than to do Saves all that time. Shit. Yeah, yeah, but it wouldn't just be your time, it would also be the time of the players as well, yeah. sort of thing as well. And just because being an amateur, amateur production, people, you know, if people are being paid, they're happier to do it. If they're not, then it's kind of people's goodwill. So anyway, yeah. just tell that through. Um, go through and slice out anything that isn't necessary. That's right. Yeah. That's a thriller. Uh, that's right. Guys, guys, just shh, I'm kind of recording here, just uh, keep a volume. Um, so why have you selected that and what research have you conducted into similar existing uh, successful products? Well for Unit 10 I've done um, Scream which is That's right, so you did, yeah, that's so, right. Yeah, but yeah. the thing with Scream is it's more comedy based, for that's right. it's more drama based thriller. Do you like Hitchcock, do you? Alfred Hitchcock? Uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, name a movie? Uh, like North Bay Northwest, Psycho, Rebecca. Psycho. Yes. Uh, the word from we look, he's a master of building tension. Because yeah. all his stuff are like filler sort of thing. North Bay Alfred. Have a look at how he does it. He just he ratchets it up. One of the things that people can say Hitchcock about is is that he doesn't have an ending, mm. uh, or he doesn't he does have an ending, but it's a case of it's all the way through the middle, and then just it's an end to the end of the story sort of thing. So it wraps up very quickly. But he's yeah. a master of just building tension and being a thriller. So like, so you should have a look into yeah. the techniques that he he uses. He's, yeah. he's fantastic. I am up with you in a wee second. My okay. favorite director from the Mac who does that stuff is James Wan. He's very good. Conjuring. I he's very really good. like him. He's a really great director. Yeah. Uh, spotted him way back with Saw, which is crack on. Have you seen his more, most recent one? Oh, well, it's, I guess it's not the Aquaman, the Lost King, the most recent. Have you seen his previous one, uh, Malignant? I don't think so. I've heard of it though, I have seen it. It's on. really good. Yeah. Really good. If you don't know, better if you don't know anything about the movie, we need to go in. Apart from, uh, it's a good thriller, it's about a girl, someone's kind of stalking her and killing people around her. And I can't go on from that, but the less you know, the better. Because whenever a twist comes along, you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah he's very good. Yes, yeah. James Wan. I'm, I'm a I big like fan him. of James Wan. Yeah. He's, he's like one of the best uh, modern day directors, actually. Yeah. So, uh, Malignant's. If you enjoyed his previous movies, Malignant's as good a movie as he's directed. Yeah. Okay. If you've enjoyed the Conjuring stuff, enjoy that. What's it, Insidious films Insidious. as well? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Malignant, well worth your while. Well, okay. Definitely um, yeah, quite a time in the cinema on that one, so <laughs> worth your while. Um, Hitchcock as well, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, what skills and experience do you intend to develop as part of the creation of this FMP? Well, my main one would probably be editing, because mm -hmm. I actually think I've got a lot better at editing. Like, recently with Colin Twerk, the documentary. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, like, yeah. that was... Practice makes perfect. Yeah, well, that was pure editing. There was, yeah, yeah. It was all from, like, YouTube. It was all clips, just editing. Mm -hmm. And I think even just in that week, I've gained a lot of editing skills. It's a, it's a bit like driving. Oh um, yeah. You know, you're taught how to drive, immersing and maneuver, driving wheel and stuff like that. But you have to spend time doing it to yeah, get the skills. To get yeah, better. So, yeah, exactly. And I was very happy with your screen edit as well. Production values are excellent. Thank you. That seems okay. So and also the camera work. 
camera that's one thing I really want to try and get better at because it's like you know all the rules and all the secrets of camera work and I just want to learn more um, stuff like that a book that you may want to take a note of would be a book called The Grammar of Film Language by a guy called Daniel Arjan mm-hmm. okay it basically kind of goes through continuity framing etc obviously yeah. you, would have had, you would have known about the rule of thirds and such like yeah, as well though, we Jim? were taught that focal yeah. points yes that's right yeah. so don't be able to don't be afraid to apply that and obviously focus uh, as well and whenever yeah. you're watching a film just critique uh, remember I was doing the storyboard exercise with you guys yeah. in the, in the first year that. sort of thing um, there'd be nothing wrong with you looking at say existing pictures with James Wan or Alfred Hitchcock or whatever there's so many kind of thrillers about there you'll yeah. see, see no problem um, you know if there's a scene that you see in a movie you'd be like well that would be really good scene to have something like that in your film yeah. kind of do that storyboard exercise where you kind of reverse exercise yeah. where they kind of build stuff up tell you who else is a good uh, current um, director of that if I can remember his name would be uh, so let me just look up this guy's just escape my mind um, it's a crack uh, uh, John Carpenter you should take a note of as well do you know his work okay I, I'm more being well like and movies and the actual director ah uh, ok ok well like, I'll tell you what I'll take a note of these ones here uh, CMC and it would also be the guest as well um, we'll do that off camera afterwards yeah, James will show it in you've got something to kind of go away yeah. that's all you can look into it's good research. research exactly that's what I'm thinking ok um, so you've answered your skills and questions uh, so how are you going to how are you going to produce your FMP guys just Shh. Going ahead there. How are you going to produce it? Well, I'm going to produce it. Well, I'm going to just at scenes, just create scenes. But I already, I have like a whole time plan, a whole time schedule. It's great. For yeah, like you've already got your players already yeah, sorted out. I already, yeah, exactly. What about costumes and stuff like that? I have um, part of my main, uh, I guess, villain protagonist. No, antagonist. Antagonist. Um, I have his main outfit ready, so mm. he gets more, and then. A lot of black going on, lot guy, is there? No. Oh, really? White, okay. actually. White? He's okay, a, yes, okay. That's he's the same verse. Ah, okay, that's fine. So, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm doing like, some things with him. I want to get yellow contact lenses. Because mm-hmm. I really love um, how you do in Star Wars when Palpatine has become evil sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, I love those yellow eyes, so I mm-hmm. want to do something like that with the cool. Uh There'd also be a good contact lenses, would be uh, not that I've seen the film, but uh, there's like a kind of contact lens that Johnny Depp uses. Uh, there's a, he has one eye for the crimes of Grindelwald. Oh, yeah, or whatever. yeah, the blue. Uh, uh, one of them, one of them, they're different. What each eye, there's yeah, two different, different eyes yeah. sort of thing. So um, that's kind of uh, have a look at that there. But yeah. as I say, we'll go back directors. And is this uh, so? Obviously, you can't answer this a wee bit already. So this is uh, not something that you're doing on your own, and you've kind of already yeah. organised well, the cast and crew. Well. I'm oh, you're as well. I'm antagonist. So he's going to do your your antagonist, are you? Yeah. All oh, right, no problem. Okay, so we've got the tall dark thing going on there. Yeah. Um, what about uh, who's going to do your crew whenever you're doing your performance? So I have four other people helping me. I have two main characters, and then I have another kind of character. Mm-hmm. Um, so three main characters, I guess. But mm-hmm. uh, one of the girls used to do MIA with me. Oh, so right. She okay, knows some know. film work, okay, so she good. would probably. Good. Well, there's, she's there's, got experience there's, of doing this, yeah. Yeah, because there's scenes where it's just uh, two characters and I'm not in it, so then I can film, but mm-hmm. the scenes where I'm in it, I can get her to film I, those scenes. I, I so I'll just do it that way, you know. Well, if, if in class there's kind of maybe you're not too sure about using a particular camera technique or something like that, before you go on vacation sort of thing, you might want to do a few wee test shots just like in the classroom yeah. to kind of do with the thing. Another great one, uh, we're talking about John James Wan there. Now, it's kind of more of a horror, but it's kind of more of a horror, which is a thriller with some supernatural elements in it. Mm-hmm. Did you see a recent one uh, called uh, Talk to Me? Yeah, The Hand. Thing. Yeah. What a great movie that was. Really? Did you not like it? I didn't love it. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know why. It okay, well, it, well, I mean, it is quite, it is quite grim in places. Okay, but yeah. the reason I'm messing with it is because they use a lot of very clever but subtle, um, just camera techniques to yeah. build the tension sort of thing. Yeah. And even what they do would be like, say, you'd have two characters talk like what you and I would do, uh, or what, what, what we're doing, and then basically all they do is pull focus from one person to the other. Yeah. And that really. No, definitely. The, the techniques and that that might be worth a second watch just to observe the techniques. Yeah. The Going and see what you could actually lift to help. I didn't yourself. know James Wan directed. No, it's not James Wan's directed. Oh, that's right. actually two YouTubers who have been kind of essentially honing their craft for years on YouTube, and then they felt that they've got reached a skill level that okay, we're at a level oh, that we can do some really okay, good. Okay, Exactly. This is not a reason. It's a good to way of 
doing it like exactly through YouTube. Yeah. Uh, through youtube kind of building up your skills is kind of low cost so whenever you actually then go yeah and get a budget, i can make a real thing here uh, you, you've got a real thing and then Clever. you've got the experience and confidence to be able to make it real so that's yeah. uh, maybe be worth watching a second uh, time just for that there yeah. anything else i'm happy enough with this uh no okay <laughs> uh so a couple of